everybody and welcome back to my fitness channel. So today we're going to do body power number 12. For this workout you're not going to need any equipment, it's just your yoga mat. So today we're going to have four different exercises with two intervals, 10 seconds. We're going to rest for 30 seconds. We're going to do one exercise. We're going to do only one exercise for six rounds until we're going to go to the next one. So yeah, now do the warm up and let's uh, go through the exercises together. All right, so the first one is dynamic squats. So we're just gonna uh, squat down, jump together and apart. So this is dynamic squats yeah, from the side. So make sure that your back is straight. Straight. You go down, push your hips back, and we just go down. So keep your core tight and back straight. This is really important. Um, if you don't want to jump, then just do the regular squats and try to do them a little bit faster. Okay, so our second exercise is going to be dive bombers. So you're going to go into the pike position. You can have your legs a little bit wider apart. And then you're going to slide forward. Yeah, and then slide backwards, right? If you feel any cracking, it's totally fine as long as you don't have any pain. You can also do this, of course, from your knees. It's gonna get too hard and then reverse the movement. Or third variation, just come up and then from here, you just push your hips back and continue. Yeah, this exercise is pretty advanced. If you do the first version, we're gonna target our shoulders and our back when we do the reverse movement. So make sure that you're mindful of this exercise. All right, moving on. The next one, we're going to do prisoners get up. So that means we're not going to use our uh, arms for support. You're going to place your arms behind your head. And now you're going to drop down, bend one leg. You're going to lean backwards. And then you're going to try to get up, right, uh, with the momentum of your body. And then when you're here, lean forward and then stand up and then of course you change your legs and get up all right if you do need help of course then help yourself with one hand but try to practice this one is very very functional a very good exercise and the last one we're gonna do it's push-up okay also can you can go into the wider uh, stance, you're going to perform a push-up and then you're going to do a toe touch. Push-up and then toe touch the opposite. You can of course go from your uh, knees, then go to the plank and try to touch your toes. If this doesn't go, try to touch your knee. If this doesn't go, then try to just touch your hip and push hips a little bit up. So you have all variations if you're still in the beginner or intermediate level. If you're already advanced, try to push yourself to the max. This exercise or a workout lasts only for 16 minutes, so it's very important that you, that you do your max. All right? You ready? I am. Let's smash it out. Okay, I'm ready. I'm going to press uh, my start. And we go into the dynamic squats right away. So the sets or the uh, full cycle lasts for four minutes. So really try to push. Good. Breathe. Awesome. Two, one. Okay. We have only 10 seconds of rest, which is basically nothing. Pull your belly towards your spine, back straight. Try to go really, really low. At the same time, last 
one. I'm showing you also different angles, so you basically see how it's supposed to look and how it's supposed to work. Third set. I really feel it. Breathe. It looks so innocent. Let's go. Push. Or if you can. Six. 
That's hard. try at least one squeeze one more standing Intense. Oh. This was really, really intense. Like my shoulders, oh, even my pecs, shoulder most, mostly, back. Everything is, oh, it's working. Okay, take a sip of water, prisoner. Get up. So now here you have an option. Either you choose alternating sides when you go down and up or you can choose choose for one interval one leg going down and then the second interval the other leg is leading going up and down so uh, it's also good like that mm. so that we basically um, balance and equally train both sides so yeah you can totally do that all right Let's go for it. So prisoners, get up. It's good for your coordination, it's good for your strength, it's good for your balance, it's good for your, you know, for awareness of both sides to you actually see which side is weaker and where you need more work. So I think these ones are amazing examples of this kind of uh, exercises. All right, let's go. Let's go for it. So, whichever leg will be leading, that one is going forward into the bending position, mine is left, lean forward, go up. So, if you're finding very hard, and I suggest don't skip the mobility classes, I have on Wednesdays and Sundays. They are really important, right? Every mobility that we do actually increases your performance in the strength training. So I suggest you don't skip them. They are very easy workouts to do on your active rest day. Good. Big 
forward. Okay, good. Up and down. One more. Two. And get up. Okay, again. Now the other leg is leading. So you did both, so check which one is basically better for you. For me, it's the same. Really try to get up with your core tight. Good. Last one. Okay. All right. So now the other side. Okay, I have ten seconds of rest. Let's go. And get on the other side. Stand. Good. Down. Stand. Good. Awesome. sides to go through it three two one down and engage lean forward stand four minutes in front of us which is push up to toe touch or any other modified version you want to take so the final four minutes take a rest if you need to if you want to continue then I suggest we just go for it smash it this one again is also for the upper body strength core strength at the same time coordination and mobility so that's the functional fitness I teach you okay let's go for it you can have legs wider apart it will help you push up your toe touches push up toe touch Awesome. I'll change my mat because it's already oh, slippery. All right, let's go. Oh, those dive bombers just killed me. Oh. 
It's almost like doing four minutes of push up non stop. I got this. I will link down the full body and the upper body stretching. You can basically do either of them since this one was quite with dive bombers and the push ups was also like a little bit more upper body dominant with a little bit legs in the beginning and abs in the middle. But honestly, like the last part when I said, like, try to push through as your life would depend on it. Uh, if you set this into your mind, into your mind and willpower, you will find the strength to push through. Because maybe sometimes, you know, we can find ourselves in to the life threatening situation. So what are you gonna do then? You know, are you gonna be scared and just give up? Or you will find the strength to push through and just give your max. So that's basically it. You are training yourself to be strong in the body and to be strong in your mind when it's tough. You know you have the strength to push through. If you have the strength to push through on your mat, you will have the strength to push through in any life situation. That's the power of the functional fitness. Body, mind and soul at the end. All right. Thank you so much for training with me. I hope you love this one. I really enjoy this one. Short, sweet, intense. That's how we train. See you tomorrow, guys. Enjoy the workout and the rest.